So today's video is going to be a full face of milk makeup. It's been so requested to continue to do these full face of one brand videos. Just doing my whole face with one brand. And today we are going to be dabbling into milk makeup. I personally really like this brand. I feel like they come out with really innovative, cool, unique things. While keeping the brand very clean and everything, I believe that all of these products are vegan. I think this brand is completely vegan. I'm not sure. But they have really great ingredients and the message behind milk makeup is really nice. There are just a few products in this brand that I don't really love. Some things from milk are a little bit hit and miss, but I feel like the majority of the stuff is pretty good. So that is what we're doing today. It's gonna kind of be a brand brand overview in general as well. I'm gonna be talking about all the products, what I feel about them, just little mini reviews in today's video while we put on a full face of makeup. So let's begin. I changed my wallpaper on my computer to a night sky, but I feel like you guys can't tell it's a night sky. <laughs> just looks like a black wallpaper. Let me know if you guys know of any really great websites where I can get some really pretty wallpaper for my desktop. I don't really know much about that, but I like nighttime vibes, sky vibes, astrology vibes, things like that. Okay, so I've already done my eyebrows. I just haven't set them yet. And I usually set them with my Nude Sticks Brow Gel. It's my favorite brow gel of all time. But Milk Makeup actually has their Kush Fiber Brow Gel, and they come in, I feel like I said that weird, brow gel. And they come in different shades, but they also have a clear one as well. And I think I'm gonna add the color one just to see. I've tried these on and off, and I still don't know how I feel about these I don't know I'm gonna use haze even though it's very light for my hair this is like for really light brown hair oh god is this too light yes it is yes it is okay I'm gonna use the shade Dutch I just kind of feel like Dutch is too dark I wish they would have a color that's a little bit in between this brow gel isn't so bad though it kind of reminds me of the benefit give me brow or the glossier boy brow just not as thick I feel I feel like sometimes the boy brow can get Real chunk, real chunky. And I feel like this one doesn't do that. Okay, I guess Dutch isn't too dark for my brows. It's just, I feel like it's a cool tone brown and my hair is a little warmer towards the end. So it gets me confused. I'm currently letting my natural hair grow out. If you guys haven't noticed, I haven't dyed my hair in forever. This is the color I always dye it. And then this is my natural color. And it's starting to freak me out a little bit because I have counted several, several gray hairs. And now I'm like, mm, I guess I have to dye my hair again. <laughs> Getting older is fun. It's not as strong as my Nude Sticks Brow Gel. I definitely prefer that one. But for a tinted fiber brow gel, I do, I like it. I, I think I like it. The cool thing about this is that it has the hemp-derived cannabis seed oil that's supposed to help with the fullness, the shape, and all of that, and the conditioning of your brows. So that's awesome. This is one of their newer products, and I need to use it a little bit more. I'm just so addicted to my Nude Sticks Brow Gel that I rarely have room for anything else, but I do really like the tinted ones. The clear one isn't my favorite. I think if you're gonna try the Milk um, Brow Gels, I would go with one of the tinted ones. They just, I feel like they give you a little bit more than the, the clear one does. But that's just my opinion. I'm gonna take the Milk Makeup Cooling Water. This is their Ultra Cooling Water Stick. And I have mine in this little mini version. I love how they give you the option to buy a mini version for a lot of their like fat chubby sticks because they can be a little bit pricey. So they give you the little mini option, even though the mini option still is pretty pricey. It's a nice way to test out the brand without committing to the full size. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this cooling water and I'm just gonna kind of rub this into my skin, targeting the areas underneath the eyes because this does have caffeine in it. So it's really good for soothing the skin, perfect for the under eye area. And it also has seawater in it. It's supposed to energize the skin. It's for dryness, dullness, uneven texture, and puffiness. I'm gonna kind of use this as a primer <laughs> for my skin because I don't really have a primer from Milk. Wait, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. Yes, I do. I sure do. Damn it. <laughs> I mainly wanted to try this underneath the eyes for that caffeine kick. And honestly, I feel like this is one of those products from Milk that is a little bit gimmicky. I don't know if it really does anything, to be honest. I mean, it feels nice on the skin. It's just not something I ever reach for. I don't think, oh my gosh, I need that cooling water stick to complete my makeup. I don't, I don't see a difference when I use this. So for me, it's kind of like one of those ant products, but it does hydrate the face and it does leave a nice cooling sensation. And if you have dry under eyes, 
moisturize that would be really nice to moisturize so maybe maybe I don't know I don't know <laughs> I don't think it's useless I just don't know if it's worth the money maybe that's something I'll see over time the more I use it but I actually do have a primer I just have it in this little mini guy as well so I didn't notice I don't know if you guys saw a video I did a while back I did a whole video on the milk makeup blur stick it's kind of like a pore filling primer in a stick and you just rub it over your face and it fills in your pores and it's supposed to blur the skin and it was okay it's not my favorite I don't really use it that often I actually think I gave it away I'm not gonna lie but they actually came out with a luminous blur primer and that is what I'm gonna use today I have actually never used this one before and I didn't want to commit to the big size so I bought this little guy and it's supposed to be a luminous matte finish so it's supposed to fill in the pores leave your skin pretty matte but also give you a luminous finish so I'm just gonna rub that into the skin I'm gonna put that on with the stick but then I'm gonna pat it in with my fingers and it does leave the skin looking pretty luminous like I definitely have a bit of a sheen to the skin but it's more of just like a shimmery sheen than anything else it doesn't really do much for hydration obviously it's a matte pore filling stick but who knows maybe this glow will make a difference on my skin and it did fill in my pores pretty well already I feel like I might like this one a little bit more than the original blur stick because of that luminous sheen. I'm actually feeling this combination. The blur stick gave me a nice luminous sheen, but the cooling water stick gave me the actual moisturization that I needed. So we are officially ready for a foundation. So Milk Makeup has their blur liquid. I've raved about this foundation in the past. It's actually a matte foundation I can get down with. I have very dry skin, but I don't feel like this emphasizes my dry skin at all. It just leaves you a nice flawless base. It's really, really pretty. And it's the type of foundation that I feel like will work with a lot of different skin types. But for today's video, I'm gonna be mixing it in with the Sunshine Skin Tint. This has SPF 30. This this is perfect for those of you with super super dry skin if you want a basic everyday tinted moisturizer that's gonna give you a lot of glow because this is pretty much I feel like this is kind of this this is their regular sunshine oil, which I've been playing around with this a little bit. I still have to see how I feel about it because it's just their basic regular oil, so I'm still playing around with this. But their sunshine skin tint is like the oil mixed in with the foundation a little bit. It's kind of like a nice cocktail. So it's a very glowy, luminous finish. Pretty oily, but just leaves your skin so radiant. And I'm going to be mixing them together today because... These foundations are my summer shades. I have this in the shade medium light and that is too dark for me. So I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the skin tint in the shade light. I've actually never mixed these two things together so I'm very excited to see how it looks. I'm gonna take a little bit of the sunshine skin tint first. I'm gonna roll this on my face and then dot this on top. Okay, so that left my skin super freaking dewy. Oh my gosh, I'm looking really orange in my viewfinder, but I'm not in person, I swear. Just dragging a little bit of that onto my neck. Oh my gosh, I really, really like this combo. It's so freaking dewy. That skin tint oil is no joke, guys. A little goes a super long way, but it's a nice little thing to add to any foundation. If you're very, very dry like me, just to add some luminous and I don't feel like my pores are really emphasized so I feel like the blur stick did its job the combo of the two gave me a dewy full coverage look so I am into it I am into it okay so I'm gonna take a little bit of my milk makeup kush lip glaze I recently spoke about this in a favorites video this is an amazing lip balm oh my god it's so good just gonna add some to my lips cuz my lips are very chapped and I want them to be prepped and moisturized when I go in with a lipstick. For concealer, I'm gonna be using the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. This is a really amazing concealer. I love it, I use it all the time. The only thing I cannot stand is the packaging. This has the worst packaging I have ever witnessed on a concealer and I know that seems really crazy. Let me see if it does, okay, it's not gonna do it. These are new so it hasn't happened to these yet. But so many times, every time I get a new concealer of this, this little stopper right here pops up and it creates a disaster, a huge mess. You just have concealer seeping out of this. It, it gets everywhere. It's, it's not It's not fun. Let me see if this one does it. These are newer ones, so I don't think so. Oh no, yeah, see, look. Look at this. It's such a messy pack. 
Oh my gosh, okay, these are both light. This is the newer one that I just got that seems to have better packaging and this is the old light. I hope they fixed this issue and if they didn't, I hope they do because this concealer is really nice but if it keeps popping up like that, it's just so frustrating. So I'm gonna pop on a little bit of the shade light which I usually go for something a little bit lighter underneath the eyes but that's fine. This will do. Oh my gosh, this is like the same color as my foundation. I never never do something this dark under my eyes. So I'm just gonna blend that in and also use this concealer as primer for the eyes. Since I'm not really doing much on the eyes, Milk Makeup doesn't have a, an eyeshadow palette or anything like that. I love this concealer. It just blends in like a dream. It's like boom, 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 done, blended. It's so good, it has great coverage, and I also find it lasts a long time on the skin. This smells like chocolate almost, no. I mean, don't get me wrong, This. This smells like concealer, but it smells like mint chocolate chip concealer. I don't know if I'm nuts, but I swear I smell it. I'm not gonna highlight my T-zone or anything like that with this concealer because it's not really light. I'm not trying to highlight or anything, so it's fine. Now we need to set all of this, all of this slippy dewiness. We need to set that down. I don't wanna set my entire face because I love how dewy this makes my skin look, but I am gonna set my concealer and my T-zone area. I'm gonna be using the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Matte Loose Set powder. This is actually a really, really great powder. I just don't use it that often because I'm in a huge powder kick right now. I'm trying out so many different powders and I am loving loose powders these days. But this is actually a really, really good one. It does blur the skin. It's one of their star products in the entire range, I feel. Like out of everything they make. It's just a really, really nice powder. And it does really blur the skin. Like you like you see it blurring the skin. I highly recommend this powder if you have a lot of texture on your skin, if you have very, very large pores, you might really, really like this. Just a little bit on the forehead, and a little bit on the chin, around the mouth, just a little bit so we don't kill the dew. I also love that this powder, oh, comes with this little thing that I just broke. Now I can pop this back in. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, so Milk Makeup has a bunch of these like tubey things like I showed you earlier. Tubies, these aren't tubes. You know what I mean. This is actually the Watermelon Brightening Face Mask. I'm gonna try this out tonight. I don't know why I'm showing this to you now because it's not gonna be in the video, but this packaging is so cute. I bought this just because of this packaging because it was bright pink. They get you, they get you with this packaging. Have any of you guys tried their new face mask? They have a green one that's like a matcha face mask that's supposedly really great for oily skin, which is why I picked up this one. Let me know how you feel about these new face masks. I'd love to know your opinions. But anyway, I'm going to be going in with my bronzer today. They have two different shades of bronzer, but I got mine in the shade Baked. This one seemed to be more my color. The other one is very, very deep. So if this is too light for you, check that one out. But I'm going to take my It Cosmetics number no. 7 brush and I'm just going to roll my brush into this thing and then take some off on the back of my hand and go in like that. I completely forgot that I was going in with a cream bronzer. I set my, my cheeks with powder a little while ago. I definitely shouldn't have set my cheeks with powder because I was going in with a cream. But even then, this is blending pretty nicely over a powder. Like I'm not kidding, I set my cheeks with this powder. I was setting them. Insert clip here. I set them because I thought I was going in with a powder bronzer, but to my surprise, this doesn't look bad. This bronzer and baked has a really, really nice formula. It's just so blendable. And it's probably because it is more of a dewy finish. It's more of that glowy cream bronzer. It doesn't really dry to a super matte finish. It has a little bit of life to it. I don't know why I don't use this bronzer more often. I love cream bronzers and I never use this. It's so freaking pretty. I love the dewiness it gives you. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, it's called a matte bronzer. It's matte. There's no sheen to it. It's not glittery. It just gives you a slight glow. You know what I mean? Which is my favorite kind of matte bronzers. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so for blush, wow, actually, actually, I don't have anything for my eyes except these eye pigments from Milk. Like literally, these are the only things for the eyes I have. So I do want to add a little bit of bronzer to my crease, even though it's a cream bronzer. Gonna take my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Just want to add some in my crease a bit for some definition. And then a little underneath the eye. Okay. This is a Milani all over shadow brush, by the way. Wow, I feel like I'm ready for a vacation now. <gasps> 
Wow. Okay, this is random, but I'm gonna take a little bit of the glitter stick. This is another product that Milk Makeup has that is very weird and might seem a little bit gimmicky. It's strange, but it's a stick just full of holographic glitter. And it's really cool for like your chest and stuff. If you want a glittery chest, like I'm gonna put some on my collarbones here. It has like that colorful rainbow iridescence, like that holographic vibe. And I really like it. I think it's pretty because it's not greasy or oily. It honestly feels pretty rough and hard, which would normally throw me off, but for this type of thing, I think it works. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I'm gonna apply some, this might be an epic fail. I wanna add some to my brow bone. It's just my finger's too fat. I wanna highlight with that. My finger's too fat. I'm trying to highlight with that. I'm gonna use my pinky this time. I'll show you my makeup close up once we're like completely done so you can see everything a little bit better, but this is kind of cool, okay? For a look, it's a vibe, you know? It's a vibe. Also gonna apply that on my inner corners. Okay, the inner corners looks a little strange. It looks a little strange. I'm gonna also apply some on the inner parts. I get so many comments every day like, oh my gosh, or every time I do my makeup in a video, people are like, I didn't notice you were left-handed. And it's crazy. I, I would never notice that myself either. I don't pay attention to that when I'm watching makeup tutorials, so don't feel bad. <laughs> okay, I might as well finish up the eyes since we're already here. I'm going to take one of these um, Milk Makeup Eye Pigments. These are really, really good. I just don't really use them that often and I don't know why. And I don't know if I want to use the pink or the gold. Why don't we mix them? I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade after party and mix in a little bit of gig on the back of my hand. For some reason, that word makes me feel weird. Gig. Like gig. 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 Put them on the back of my hand and mix them together. Ooh. That is really pretty. That created kind of like a pinky bronze. Gorgeous. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this on my lid and this dries extremely fast. So you wanna move really fast. These are nice for like the everyday girl. If you want something to just throw on your lid that's gonna give you a little bit of color, but isn't gonna be too much, it's not gonna be too metallic, too foiled, then these eye pigments are for you because they are a little bit more natural than some other pigments I've used in the past. But I feel like that's what their their vibe is. I kind of feel like Milk Makeup is very similar to Glossier, only a little bit more makeup-y. Like Glossier, you have to be perfect <laughs> to wear a lot of those things because everything is very, very natural. It really is, for, look how strong this is. This does not come off. Glossier is perfect for like the girl next door and I feel the same way about Milk, but it's just a little bit more fun, a little bit more like oomphy. Oomphy. But anyway, I really do like these eye pigments and they last forever on the eyes. Forever. Once they set, they do not go anywhere. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the glitter stick and kind of mesh that with the pigment. Alrighty then. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some eyeliner. Milk recently released these long wear gel eyeliners and I have all of them, I believe, and I've never tried them out before. And I think I'm gonna go in with this brown shade. They have a shimmery brown, which I might use. I don't know, let's do the regular matte brown first. This is in the shade CEO. I'm just gonna add that to my tight line and my water line. These are very, very glidey. Like extremely. Like that took nothing to apply to my waterline. So I'm gonna take the smudger side and blend that in, smudge that in. Okay, so far so good. That applied so quickly to my waterline. This is a very glidey eyeliner, which I do prefer. The only thing is that you don't get a lot of product in here. This is all you get, and it's a $22 eyeliner, but <sighs> eyeliners are one of those things that if it is really, really good, I don't mind spending the money on it because so many eyeliners don't stay on my waterline, they don't apply well, so if this does last all day like this, it might be worth the money. But this is in the shade CEO, and I just added that to add a little bit of definition to the lower lash line. To finish off the eyes, I'm going in with the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. This mascara is pretty cool. First of all, it's made with Lamborghini metal. I don't know where I read that or I don't know. I think I heard it in a Jay Kissa video. She went to the Milk Makeup launch of this mascara and I think they told her it was made out of Lamborghini metal or something like that, which is pretty freaking cool to know you have a piece of a Lamborghini in your house. I mean, that's pretty cool. 
but it's also really cool because it has CBD oil in it, which is supposed to condition your lashes, which prevents it from getting crunchy. So that's really, really cool. The only thing is that it's not, for me, it's not the most volumizing mascara. I have other mascaras in my collection that I do prefer more than this, but it still is really nice and I do enjoy it. So I'm just gonna do two coats of this to my top and bottom lashes. I also don't love that the wand is so fat. It is a little bit thicker than I'm used to, especially for my lower or lash line, but I still really like it. Okay, so these are the finished eyes. Obviously the most simple basic eye look ever because I didn't have much to work with, but I actually really like this eye look. It's very like dewy and wet almost. I really like this glitter stick. It's very weird, but it's so cool. And for specific looks, I think it's really unique and fun. And this is the mascara. It is really, really soft. Like when you touch it, your lashes stay incredibly soft, which is nice because it conditions your lashes. I just feel like I have other mascaras in my collection that give me more va va voom than this. And as you can see, I got mascara all over my lid because this wand is a little thicker than I'm used to. But besides that, now the only thing we need to do is add some blush, highlight, and our lip. For blush, I have two options here. Milk has these lip and cheek blushes. They are the cream lip and cheek blushes. You can use these on your lips and your cheeks. I have the shade Perk, and then I also have the shade Work, which is one of their newer colors, and it actually didn't give me the option to buy a full size. They only had this one, which is $14. This is a really pretty dusty rose color. It has a little bit of mom in there, really, really gorgeous. And I think with this look, yeah, I'm gonna go in with this color. It's also a newer shade to their collection, so I'm gonna take the same brush I used on my face for the bronzer, only this one, I use it for blush. It's the same brush, though. It just has different packaging I don't know why I think this is the newer packaging from it cosmetics but I'm gonna take that brush and I'm gonna do the same thing apply it to the back of my hand first really pretty color I have been loving blush so much recently and I never thought I would say that I mean I've always liked blush but I have been liking a lot more blush these days like normally I would have stopped a long time ago but I keep going. I love cream products because they just make your skin look so youthful and glowy. Ugh. I feel like that gave my skin an even more dewy appearance. I love this color. It's so pretty. It's very natural but still kind of bold at the same time and you can totally build this color up and get like even more intensity on the cheeks, but this is enough for me. Now for highlight, this part was a little bit more difficult for me because I have tested out the highlights in the past from them, the one that comes in this packaging just like the bronzer, and it's not my favorite. I know a lot of people love it and rave about it. I had it and I gave it away because it just wasn't giving me a lot of glow. It was a little bit more natural than I like for a cream highlight. I like my powder highlights to be a little bit more natural, but I like my cream highlights to be like intense, like the hourglass ones, those are incredible. So for today, I don't really have a highlight like that to share with you guys, but I do have this, and I know that this was limited edition, but you can still get it on the Sephora website, and I don't know why it was limited edition. I hope they keep this, or maybe they'll eventually bring it back once they do get rid of it, because it is so beautiful. I use this as, I use this more like a blush topper, to be honest. This is the Holographic Highlighting Powder in the shade Mars. It is beautiful. It does have that duochrome effect, and it is a very strong pink highlight, which I usually don't love because they don't look as natural as other highlights, but this color is just so beautiful that I, I wear it anyway because it's gorgeous. I'm gonna take my Linda Halberg 306 brush, dip it into Mars, and just lightly go over my cheek. The formula is really good. So again, not exactly the highlight I would pick for this look, but it is so freaking cool. I love it. Okay, and then last but certainly not least, Milk Makeup has released new lipsticks, and I'm so excited about these lipsticks. First of all, the packaging is really, really pretty. I love that it has the name on the bottom of the lipstick, but also like right here when you open the lipstick, and it's magnetic. Very cool packaging, but it's also a very moisturizing lipstick. It has shea butter, coconut oil, a few different oils actually, but then it also has bamboo derived blurring powder that's supposed to smooth the look of the lips for a soft focus effect. So very exciting. I bought two very natural colors, very, very natural. I got the shade Cream, and then I got the shade Skills, which is even more natural than Cream. I think I'm gonna go in with Cream. It's a little bit deeper than Skills, and I feel like it goes with my vibe a little bit more. So I'm just gonna take off my lip balm. And I would normally 100% go in with a lip liner, but it's fine, we don't have one, it's fine. 
Ooh, so creamy. I actually never used these before. They don't smell like anything. I feel like they smell like a traditional lipstick, but not really chemically or anything. It's just lipstick. This lipstick does feel really nice on my lips. Like, wow, that feels really good, but it also looks a little bit matte. It kind of has a satin finish, and I'm into it. I am into it. I'm into it. I'm going to take a little bit of skills, and I'm going to put that right in the center. Eh. Not much of a difference. Okay guys, so that completes this video. That was a full face of milk makeup. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was really fun making this video. I love doing one brand tutorials as well. So leave me a comment down below letting me know which one brand tutorial you wanna see from me next. It's been really requested to do a full face of Fenty makeup, so maybe I'll do that one next, or maybe I should do a drugstore one next. I don't know. You let me know in the comments below. But yeah guys, like I said, that completes this video. I love you so, so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will We'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okay. <laughs> so excited. Don't waste your time on me. You're already. But I actually do have a prime.